Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install PostgreSQL 17 that is the latest version released today on Windows operating systems. Windows operating systems can be Windows 10, 11 or Windows servers. First we will download the PostgreSQL 17. Go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. Hit enter. See, on September 26, 2024 PostgreSQL 17 is released. This is the stable version. Click on download. Then select Windows, then click on download the installer. See here we have the PostgreSQL version number 17.0 and you have to click on this download button under the column Windows x86 64. Click on download. See your download should begin in a few seconds. See download has been started. Go to downloads. See its size is. I am cancelling this download because I have already downloaded. Its size is. 374 megabytes okay so once download is completed click on this PostgreSQL 17 windows x64.exe click on it click on next see this will be the installation directory for the PostgreSQL 17 if you want to change you have to click on this browse button then select the path I am okay with the default one so click on next it is going to install PostgreSQL Database server, pgadmin, it is the GUI tool for the PostgreSQL to manage and work with PostgreSQL database and servers. Stack Builder, it contains additional tools, drivers and applications like it contains PostGIS and all. I will install Stack Builder but not configure. So select the command line tools, you see the command line tools, tools contain like pgbench, pgbase backup, pg underscore restore, pg dump and all other tools. So select all and click on next. See this will be the data directory. If you want to change you have to click on this browse button and select the path. Click on next. See here we have to provide the password for this super user. Super user is Postgres. So provide the password. Then confirm the same. Click on next. See 5432 is the default per is equal. If you want to change you can change but this port is open. So don't change the port number and click on next. And this is the local setting. I am not going to change. Click on next. See, this is the pre installation summary. If you are okay with all these settings, you have to click on next. If you want to modify anything, you have to click on back. Okay, so I am okay with all these settings. So click on next. Ready to install PostgreSQL on your computer. So click on next to, to start the installation of PostgreSQL 17 on Windows machine. Click on next. See, installation has been started. See, setup has finished the installing PostgreSQL on your computer. See, Stack Builder also installed, but I don't want to install the additional tools. Later also you can open the Stack Builder. Click on finish. Now go to start, show applications. If you go to the folder name that starts with P, see here we have the PostgreSQL 17. See here it is already installed, pgadmin4 and psql shell. That is SQL cell stack builder. Still, if you want to configure additional tools, if you have to click on application stack builder. So click on SQL shell, that is PSQL shell. Server name is localhost, database also Postgres, port number 5432, username Postgres, that is super user, then provide the password that we have given. Hit enter. See, this is the PSQL version, not the PostgreSQL version. Select version. See, we have installed PostgreSQL 17.0 on Windows. Okay, now we will see how to connect to PostgreSQL from the pgadmin. Search for pgadmin. See here, we have the pgadmin for. It is a GUI tool for the PostgreSQL. Click on it. Now click on Add New Server or right click, then register, then select the server. Both are same. Then here provide the name pg17 name can be anything but in connection tab we have to give hostname or address hostname is nothing but the machine name that where we install PostgreSQL 17 or if address means we can give the IP or simply give local host because it is installed on PC port number 5432 maintenance database Postgres if you want to verify the list of the databases gives backslash L see see the databases comes with PostgreSQL or 
Postgres template 0 and template 1. So maintenance database is Postgres, username also Postgres. If you want to verify, slash du. See, we have only one user that is super user. Then provide the password of this user. Then click on save. Expand databases. See, we have only one database. See, it will not show this template 0 and template 1. Okay. Expand Postgres database. See here, schemas. See here, we have public schema. Now we can create database from here also. Right click on databases, select create, then database. Then provide the database name, after schools. And this will be the owner. If you want to provide additional information, you can provide. See, this is the syntax. Okay. So click on save. See, new database, after schools is created. Even if you go to PSQL shell, you can verify the same. See, new database, after schools is there. So if you want to create some tables into this, you have to switch from the current database to new database by using the commands backslash cr backslash connect both are same then give the new database name after schools see here you are now connected to the database after schools as the user first request now create a table create table student s name int primary key s name where care 50 close it close it see we have created one table with the backslash tt see we have only one table that is student and it is there in the public schema this is the one on name if you go to this database expand schemas public then tables see here we have one table let us insert some data into this table insert into table here table name is student values Hundred BG. put semicolon. We have successfully inserted. If you want to insert the same data here also in GUI tool. Right click on database name, select query tool, then run the query against the table. Select star from student. Select the query, click on this execute button. See, we have one row that is inserted here. Okay, we can also insert data here. Insert into table here table name is student values 101 james put semicolon semicolon is not mandatory execute c1 record is inserted select the first query inserted c two rows are there even you can run the same select statement here select star from student c two rows are there copy this statement give 101 change the this use s name right select the statement and click on execute see duplicate key value violates in a constant student key student primary key so if any column defined with primary key it won't allow duplicate so give the unique value here now execute it see we have successfully inserted one row. Now verify the data. See here, we have inserted three rows. If we go to PSQL also, we will get the same. Use the up arrow to get the previous command. See, we have inserted three rows. Now, see here, if we give the star, it will retrieve all columns of the table. If you want only particular column names, you have to give column names like this, S name, from student see we got all columns but if you want only s name you can give the that particular column name see it is typo see we got the only one column and the same way if you want to create a user let us verify list of the users i have only one user verify the, if you want to create user create user james with password James at one two at one two three put semicolon. We have created one user. Let us verify. See, I have one user. I have one user other than the soap user. If you go to expand login control, see here one we have one more user. And last step that I am going to show you how to stop, start, and restart PostgreSQL 17 on Windows machines. Windows 
then type services dot msc just press p see here we have the postgres equal x6417 see here the status of the service it is running and see here if it is running we will be able to see these options and also these options if you want to stop right click and select stop or select the service then click on stop or click on the stop button all three are same let me stop it see we will be able to see the only one option even if you go to here if you right click refresh see see connection to server has been lost okay so we have to start it again go to services again start it now try to refresh see we are able to connect okay if you want to restart right click right click on the service name and restart or click on restart button or select this restart button all three options are same so in this video we have seen how to download install and configure postgresql 17 on windows machines that is windows 10 or 11 or servers for more postgresql videos please subscribe my channel thank you